been struggling with an early release all your life, like I have, uh, then sometimes it can really be difficult to get rid of. And one of the main problems is the way that you're trying to accelerate the club whilst at the same time keeping your bum back and out of the way. And what I actually find is an awful lot of people who early release on a regular basis go into a straightening of their lead leg too early. And this straightening of the lead leg basically makes it easier for the trail leg to get lots of kind of pushing going on and sliding. So that you are the first thing you are doing as the trail leg starts to kind of push off from the ground is the, the lead leg goes into resistance and straightens. Now you would think maybe that by doing that, that would actually help you to stay behind the ball but in truth what it actually does is the lead leg basically just pushes the lead hip up and the trail leg pushes you sideways and usually you'll then find that you're kind of tilting back um, away from the target and that's actually helping you to come on the inside which I believe is why we all kind of got into this early extension trying to come from the inside on the golf ball but really isn't really helping us because by the time we get down here we're stuck and you're either going to block it out to the right or snap hook it there's all kinds of beautiful golf shots that you can get from this also kills your consistency so what is the simple tip one thing that you've got to do differently and it's quite obviously don't straighten your lead leg until the hip rotation is finished. That means that you're going to have to change not only what you're doing physically in your downswing, you're also going to have to change your timing. As you start the downswing you've got this kind of turning and sitting movement going on and at the whole of the time you're keeping the lead leg bent. Now what you can actually see here from the camera is now that the my thigh of my lead leg is actually helping to keep that lead hip back. The moment I go into extension the lead hip will try and cover the lead foot and the lead foot joint and that's what actually helps you to actually go into this early extension. If on the contrary you keep the lead leg bent then at some stage especially if you turned your lead foot out towards the target it's actually helping to resist any movement towards the target and it's keeping your, your pelvis centered uh, and helping you to stay over the golf ball without getting into this kind of classic kind of tilt away from the target. Now this is something you're really going to have to work on and I think it's something obviously if you've seen one or other drills that I've uh, offered you over the past few months probably my favorite for the lower body if you stand around about hip width with the trail foot square and the lead foot turned out and take your uh, address position then you want to have the feeling of turning back away from the target and getting this kind of twisting going on inside of your trail shoe. The feeling that your small toe is kind of pushing against the wall of the shoe and then you press away from there, get this kind of small kind of sitting feeling going on so you're sticking your bum out and at the same time you'll actually feel the angle here between your lead leg and pelvis actually getting smaller as you come around and you're keeping the resistance here in your lead leg. And as you feel, okay, that's the end of it, that's when you're gonna go into extension, not before. By doing this, like I say, you're gonna be able to not only keep your bum back on the kind of tush position, as we call it, you're also going to get yourself into a position where you're gonna get more rotation by going early into this kind of straightening of the lead leg you'll always tend to kind of slide your lead hip over the, the, the foot joint and that will actually stop rotation rather than helping rotation. You see how far I can rotate in this position and how little I can rotate if I slide over the lead foot. Early extension has been something which has really been kind of bugging us for forever, especially if you come out of my generation where we were actually taught to kind of drive with both knees towards the target and kind of go into what they called a reverse C, a bit kind of 
Colin Montgomery in the follow, it, follow through and that really has killed a lot of my my game because for years I've been fighting against that never really had the confidence to just get out there and get the hips around so if anybody knows how to get rid of it it's me the final thing I think you're going to have to look at is the timing of this if you actually look at the timing of your swing if you go straight into an early extension then you've got kind of a backswing downswing hit um, and you want to get the feeling of getting kind of a backswing backswing then hit so you've got this kind of delayed hit in the shot um, rather than kind of taking it back sliding and hitting at the same time getting a too early acceleration on the club um, if you can get the exercise going and it's almost kind of a little bit kind of a little kind of dance move here that you're doing in the hips in fact I like to kind of do it in both directions so that my brain is kind of getting used to kind of this kind of rhythm in the swing in both directions if you can get that going in your golf swing so that really have a feeling that the arms only come through once the hip has rotated then you're not only going to help the rotation the early extension you're also going to time the shot a lot better and you're going to be accelerating with your arms at the same time as you're resisting with your legs which should give you a little bit more club head speed as well so that was a real kind of three in one wasn't it keep that lead leg bent longer try and time it time it so that it doesn't straighten until you get to the end of the rotation and if you do that you should be able to cure your early extension you should get better timing on the ball more hip rotation win 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 hope you liked it if you did as ever smash that like button that helps the channel immensely i'll be back in the new year until then keep well keep safe keep practicing have a very merry christmas a very good new year and i'll see you in january until then bye bye